Hello. Hi, ma'am. This is Ron calling from the corporate office at FedEx. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. Tell me you found the package. Um, yeah, it looks like we may have found the package. Um, that that is really? the good news. Yeah, I just need to check some information from you before we proceed. Uh, can okay. I just confirm what was in the package? Photographs, old photographs, old family photographs. Old family photographs. Okay. What was the reason you were sending them by FedEx? Well, sir, because I sent them by FedEx because I thought that would be the safest way to send it. Okay. What, what was the reason for sending them, though? I'm sending them to my cousin for him to have the photographs to keep them. Okay, no problem. And uh, <clears throat> just to confirm, um, these were just regular family photographs, right? No. Old, old, one-of-a-kind pictures from like the early 1900s, maybe the late 1800s. Old pictures, not just snapshots from that we take today, like ones that are irreplaceable. Okay, because what had happened is we had identified um, a potential problem with one of our drivers taking the packages. Um, it looks like for some reason he was particularly interested in photographs that were being sent through the service. And uh, over the weekend, some, they actually sent somebody over to his house to investigate. And yeah, it looks like he has all the pictures, but he has them stuck on the wall. Like they're all just, along with other customers as well, like lots of them. He had this room in his house and he'd been like licking them and sticking them on the wall, I guess. This is like something from a movie, sir. A little bit, yeah. This is yeah. like something from a movie. These are old pictures of, this. Is, I'm sent them to my cousin. They're pictures of his grandmother when she got married. These are, these are precious pictures. Yeah, yeah, I understand completely. Um, it looks like, yeah, he had decorated, decorated an entire room with them. Just ceiling, walls, everywhere was just pictures, just customer pictures. Um, well, what are you going to do? How are you going to get them back? How so, are you going to, I mean, you have to get them back, the ones that are ours. Yeah, well, this is the problem that we've been having. So uh, we, we've looked into this, and through some loophole at the moment, he is being allowed to keep them. Um, no, there's a bit of a can't keep them. There's a bit of a legal loophole now. What I can do, because the driver obviously, um, now don't worry, he doesn't live anywhere near you or anything like that, but um, I can give him a call and let you speak to him about this and see if he, he would be willing to return your pictures, if you can tell him which ones, which ones are yours. I don't want to talk to this person. Okay. I want you to do this. I want you to get back those pictures. Yeah, but the problem is, ma'am, they're your pictures, you see, so you will need to describe them to him. I can't. I don't know what's in the pictures for him to take the correct ones off the wall. You might get someone else's pictures. I, I, have, I have photographs of some of them, but I don't have photographs of all of them. Oh, goodness. I mean, I, I re-photograph them. If you send me, if you can send me your email address, I can maybe send you copies of some of them. Okay, well. That I photographed with my phone. Yeah, uh, here's the thing, ma'am. I'm not really allowed to do that for security. I can't really be in possession of your private pictures. Um, we don't even have an email system that you could send them to. Um, okay, send me, get, give me, uh, let me talk to this guy. Let okay. me talk to this guy. But you are responsible, sir. You uh, are responsible. I, you know, I purposely sent them by FedEx, and I purposely had them to arrive on Saturday when I knew my cousin would be home. And I purposely did something that would cost me $72. Oh, goodness. $72 yeah. to send the damn packet. And I better not be charged for this. I better not be charged for this if I see this. Well, we can, and now, we can discuss I, that, ma'am. Absolutely. I can get a supervisor in here maybe and see what we can do about a refund. Um, first and foremost, would you like me to patch the employee into the call? Um, right now? Yeah, if you want to speak to him now, I can do that. Okay. And I can obviously monitor and record everything. So let me... I'm so sorry you've okay. had to go through this. Let me patch in this uh, gentleman. His name is Tyrone. Tyrone. Tyrone, yeah. Hi. 
Hi, this is Tyrone. Hello? Is Hello. this Tyrone? Hello? Yes, it is. Who is this? Hello. Hello. Why did, why did you steal our pictures, Tyrone? Hello. Who is this? Hello. My name is Eileen, and you have my pictures that I sent to my cousin. Hello, Eileen. To deliver. Hi. I really want those pictures back, Tyrone. I have they're a lot old, of pictures. They're old family photographs, one of a kind pictures of my I, great aunt and my I grandmother. Have a lot of pictures. And I want those pictures back. Which one which one are your pictures? Which pictures? Tell me. Well, okay, they were in a box that was wrapped in plastic and then it had cardboard and they were in these in glassine envelopes. They're all in these glassine envelopes. Let me like check you, one moment. Yeah. How are you today? I'm very, very, pretty. very upset because these are one of a kind pictures of my family and you stole them from us. And I'm really, really upset. Oh, I like that. One moment. I'm just looking here for the pictures. Is this. Who is this old lady? That's my great aunt. What is her name? I'm not She's telling you her name, sir. This is I not like a to conversation them all names. where you and I are you and I are not friends. You stole something. Something very, very precious. Very precious. One moment. And I was and I was sending these pictures to her grandson. Who never met her. Keep talking. Why? I'm listening. I'm just taking notes. But they were wrapped in plastic and they had glassine envelopes wrapped and they were old photographs and there were people sitting on it. There were people, there were beach pictures from a, people on the beach, old pictures of people on a beach with deckled edges around yes you know. yes that's my favorite one i'm using it in my ritual that's my favorite I, picture i don't care if it's your favorite one what who are I'm you i'm going to, to summon her and, and take my name is tyrone people. will you what, help me who, who do you think we, you are to do this how could you hurt people like this do you realize you how me, hurtful this is? To steal someone's family pictures like that? Can you send me more? Will you help me? Okay, oh, sir, you are ill. You are ill. Oh, keep talking to me, ma'am. Keep talking no, right now. Sir, where's the FedEx? Please. Where's the FedEx person? Oh my God. I'm gonna. St Oh my God! Keep keep going, ma'am. Keep talking to me. Why? This is incredible. Oh my God! I'm gonna blow a load. Ah. Sir, where is it? Okay, where is the FedEx person? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, Mom, I'm right uh, here. <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me you're not. Mom. Uh, please, do not subject me to this. Mom. What? Mom, can you hear me? Yes. It sounds like he's <laughs> he's performing the ritual again, ma'am. He was specifically... Well, look, I he was, are, you, are you a real person? He was are specifically told not to... Tyrone! Who is this? Are you performing the ritual again? We have a line. It's Ron from work. Oh, yes, I am. Not the Ron? ritual. You were told not to perform the ritual. It's too late, Ron. 
Oh god. I told you. Oh my is god. It's too cost? late, I'm afraid. I want him off the call. Tyrone, right yeah, get off. The old lady's so pretty. Get him off. Get him off right now. Ma'am, don't She's say so that. Pretty. Tyrone. Tyrone, what? did you get me off again? Did you summon the beast again, Tyrone? The beast is here. Is this a real call? Is this a real thing? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Yeah, I can't believe this either. Tyrone. I don't I get him off the call. Ma'am, don't say get him off. He likes that. You will not speak to the beast in oh. that way. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Tyrone. I don't want no. him on the call. You will not speak to the beast that way. Do you want to serve him? Tyrone. Please. Please. Why can't you hang up on him? I don't. My system doesn't work like that. He needs to hang up. He's not going to hang up. I'm going to hang up. Don't Please hang up, ma'am. No, no, no. Don't hang up. That's what he wants. Tyrone. Pretty lady. <laughs> Tyrone. I need to speak to Tyrone. <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and I want him not to be on the phone. No! Oh, God. I, I can't believe I have to put up this. Me neither, ma'am. This is outrageous. I have Please. never. What is your name, sir? My name is Windsor. W-I-N-D-S-O-R. You can take my name down. Win yeah. Do you want my employee ID number? Yes, please. Okay, it's... it's I, oh, God, there's smoke coming out of my keyboard. How is he doing this? I, I, my, I my employee ID, ID number... There's smoke everywhere in my office. I don't believe you. I don't believe you're a real person. I think you're do I think you're working with him on something. What did you say, ma'am? I don't I don't know if you're a real FedEx person. Yeah, no, I I'm definitely a real FedEx person, ma'am. Your okay, your name is W I N D S O R? Yeah, Windsor. I can give you my last name, my employee ID number. What what do you need? Yes. I want your last name. Okay, the employee ID number is mm -hmm. 800 zero, zero, Six, six, six. Yes. Yeah. Eight zero zero six six six. That's it. Yeah. That's like the devil. Yeah. Really? The I don't believe you. Tyrone, get off the line. Oh God! Are you hearing these noises, ma'am? Oh, she's gone. She. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yes. Hello, man. My name is Kathy, and I'm calling from FedEx. Would you be able to do a brief survey with me? Are you out of your mind? No. Are you crazy? Are you really from FedEx? Yes, ma'am, I am. What kind of survey are you asking me to do? I just had the sickest phone call I've ever had in my life. I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, it's sick, sick, sick. 
What's... Somebody stole my pictures. Some creepy guy was doing some ritual on the phone. The, your FedEx employee couldn't get off with me, and and he, I had to hang up. So oh what God. what are you going to ask me that is going to make? What, what could you possibly ask me for a survey? So, on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you with our service? I don't think that this is a real FedEx call. Ma'am, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this and why you're so dissatisfied with our service. I, I don't, this can't possibly be a real FedEx call. I'm hanging up. Ma'am, no, wait. Wait. If you hang up now, the demons will get me. You don't want that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>